All right, we start off by saying all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakhah, Kadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, or GMS, the men that rule well over the nation of Israel, and peace and blessings to the elect, okay? This is the book of Acts, chapter 7, and verse 52. It says, which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them, which showed before of the coming of the just one, of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers, who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it. When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart, and they gnashed on him with their teeth. But he, being full of the Holy Spirit, looked up and steadfastly, looked up steadfastly into heaven, and saw the glory of the heavenly Father Yahweh, and Yahweh Shah standing on the right hand of Yahweh, and said, Behold, I see the heavens open, and the Son of of Man standing on the right hand of the heavenly Father. Then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord and they cast and, like it, and cast him out of the city and stoned him and the witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet whose name was Saul and they stoned Stephen calling upon Yahweh and saying Lord Yahweh Shai receive my spirit and he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not this sin to their charge. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. Okay. And I was just giving an example, a strong example that of something that happened in the scriptures of, uh, as a matter of fact, I just get it. This is Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that you present your bodies a living, living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, which is your reasonable service. Okay? This is our reasonable service, man, even if you got to go. Okay? Now, right here in this scene, in this movie, they knew it was a rap, man, okay? And uh, this one soldier leaned over to the king, okay, and told him, but you watch the movie 300, you'll see the scene, or you can look at it on YouTube, okay? He told him, you know, in dying, he told him, he said, you know, it's, it's an honor to die with you, you know? And the king told him it was an honor to have served with you, okay? One dying with and the other one living with, okay? Roughly paraphrasing, but you can watch the scene for yourself. The point is, it is an honor and, and a privilege, man. Uh, uh, it's hard to even put in words. To, to be able to go out and do this work with the brothers, okay? To do the service of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai with my brothers, man, okay? It is an honor, okay? To be able to go out and, and put our lives on the line to do the service of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It is an honor to go out and stand in great boldness with my brothers and proclaim the truth unto the world, man. It is a great honor, okay? Even if I gotta die. Because once you in this thing, you have understanding, you understand the transition of your spirit out of this chain of darkness 
to the to the to the spiritual realm, man. Okay. The scriptures already tell you what where your spirit goes, man. Okay. You whether you reading it about it in the book of Job or you reading about it uh in the book of Ecclesiastes. As a matter of fact, I just go get it. Okay. Just for edification's sake. Uh, I didn't even have this This wasn't even In the lesson But the spirit Pushing it To go this way Okay uh, This is Ecclesiastes. I'm going to just get straight to the point. This is 12 and 7. It says, Then shall the dust return to the earth. Okay? Because that's what we are, man. Dust. Okay? We are the we are uh, from the from from the earth, man. Okay? Um, when you read about Adam, okay? Um, matter of fact, in the Apocrypha, it says, uh, why, is, why is earth and ashes proud? Uh, I don't have my, uh, But I'll put it, if I can't find it right off, I'll put it in the, uh, the comment section, okay? Because I can't think of where it's at right off the top, you know. But uh, it says, why is, why is earth and ashes proud, man? You know? Why? Okay. Just referring to us as that. As a matter of fact, uh, Ecclesiastes That's not the one This is Ecclesiastes uh, 3 and 20. It says, All go into one place, all of the dust, and all turn to dust again. Okay? So we go back to the dust, man. You know? Well, not in Babylon, because they embalm your body and, you know, stick you in a metal box. Okay? There's bodies that's been buried for years and years and years that the dirt has never touched so their bodies couldn't return back to the ash but your spirit returns to the heavenly father okay so once you understand the transition of this energy leaving this 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 chain of darkness okay because that's what this is man this is a chain of darkness man you know, this body can sin, it can die, okay, it can get hurt, but once you understand that, man, big whoop, you know, gives a shit about dying, okay? Now, of course, the, me, myself, and the other brothers, we want to make it on this side, man. I, I want to get on the chariot, you know? But it's not up to me. I, 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 that's what I'd like. But it's not up to me. Okay? It's up to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? 
and what he has already predestined okay man's goings are the heavenly father okay so we'll bring out one more scripture this is uh ecclesiasticus or the book of sirach 4 and 28 it says strive for the truth unto death and the lord shall fight for thee okay so strive for this truth unto death man it's an honor to go out and put my life on the line with my brothers to do the work of the heavenly father yahweh by shem yahweh shai there's no greater thing on this side i'm already there this is the book of the these scriptures I, I didn't have wrote down this the spirit this uh ecclesiastes 12 and uh 13 it says and this is all milk let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter fear the heavenly father which is key the beginning of wisdom and knowledge is is is, is the fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Sorry. This is a Sirach or the book of Ecclesiasticus 1 and 14. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. Okay? Because this is this is based on faith, man. Okay. It was created with the faithful in the womb. Okay. Before you was even born. Okay. Um, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the heavenly father, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and keep his commandments. What is a commandment to go out and do this work? To love your brother like you love the Lord, man. Uh, keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. You know? Feed the flock. Edify the elect. Cause that's what this is about. Honor, honor great men. Okay? We know you niggas have a problem with that. So what? Strive for the truth and to death. Be willing to be a martyr. Be willing to give your life for a brother. Which is ultimately giving your life for the body. Okay? How much do you love the Heavenly Father Yahweh Shem Yahweh Okay? So, it's an honor, man, okay? Don't, don't, don't take this lightly, all right? Don't take this lightly, man, okay? I'm gonna end it right there, man, all right? Once again, I'll praise on and glory to the heavenly father, the Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Kudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, or the men that rule well, and peace and blessings to the elect that shall have won.